Israel's Supreme Court has ordered the government to begin drafting ultra-Orthodox men into the army. This is a landmark decision that spells trouble for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his governing coalition. In Israel, most Jewish men are required to perform three years of compulsory military service. But powerful ultra-Orthodox parties have used their influence over the years to win exemptions for their followers. This system has long been a source of resentment among the broader public, but that resentment has grown during the current war in Gaza, with over 600 soldiers killed in action over the past eight months. Netanyahu now faces a difficult decision. He can try to work with his partners to pass a new law that would somehow extend these exemptions. That would risk setting off mass protest and widespread anger toward the government. But if he implements the decision, he risks losing the support of his ultra-Orthodox partners. That would likely bring down the government and trigger new elections at a time when Netanyahu's popularity is at a low. In other words, Netanyahu could risk being sent back to the opposition.